Welcome to the Six Hector Farmstead. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, swarm traps. Um, a few years ago I did some research, some online YouTube videos, and uh, starting to see what swarm traps actually work, what concepts were out there, uh, what principles would work better for me out here at, at the farm. Um, one, th one of the videos, I'm going to give a shout out to the B Vlog, uh, went through, looked at his ideas, watched what he had going on there, and thinking, yeah, I think all these concepts things he's got going on will actually work. So, <coughs> for what I've done is, uh, the first year, I built six of these last year. Uh, actually, I bought three last, I built three last year, hung two of them. Um, this year, I bought three additional, I built three additional ones. So last year, I hung two of them, I was two for two. I think that's pretty good success rate for uh, this swarm trap. So I'm gonna tell you what would actually work for me. So for me, I used a uh, five frame medium D box. I used, uh, actually reused an old nuke box from a nucleus colony that I, I had when I was raising, raising some nukes here and just repurpose, just drill a hole and repurpose the box. Uh, in the bottom has plywood, it's got a one inch spacer in the bottom so from here you're going to plywood sheet about a one inch and the box is screwed to the bottom of that there. So it's all solid. In the front I drilled a one inch hole and I put a galvanized spacer disc over here. The, so I can control it, so, so close off it when I actually am successful in removing it. <coughs> so, using these concepts, I'm thinking, I mean, what's the best means to bait the hives? Um, what, what's attractive to the bees? They like space. Um, if there's an old, if, they, if the scout bees find an, where a, a hive is absconded from a tree or a, another structure, uh, it's already got comb in it, that's attracted to them. Um, scent. Uh, just different factors and all there so I'm trying to hit them up on all different aspects here nukes are smaller compared to a different hive setup I find these a little bit more portable they work for me I mean they have a little weight to them and it's not too bad um, but they but they work they were successful for me so I'm gonna tell you what works for me um, one of the things with the colony is it like it says talk about scent smell what what are the drawing factors there uh, one, the hive box itself there, it's got the scent of a hive. It's been utilized as a hive, it's got the scent of the hive there. Uh, on the beef log, he utilized a tincture of you would sorts of grain alcohol and propolis. Um, I actually tried it with this box here. Uh, I have a medium hive body set up here. I mean, unused pine new. And I did the tincture stain and I stained the inside. It's got this yellowish, but yeah, it smells like a hive. It doesn't smell like alcohol at all. I'll talk about this a little bit later. Um, but for these boxes here, <coughs> but what are all the other drawing factors here? Um, one of the things is is the comb. I talked about absconded hives there. It's the comb. So uh, as a practice, you should call your frames anyways. This frame here is an older comb, uh, an older frame here. Uh, it's got a lot of drone comb, drone cells in here on the back. Uh, one thing is there's no pollen in this, which is a good thing. This pollen draws the wax moths. You don't want that, especially when you set these things out uh, near the colonies. Uh, so having the brood from the, the drawn comb here is an attractive for the queen. She'll have already have a place to get laying and started there. Because when she leaves, she's a fertile queen. She's gonna lay and start building up a colony. That's the reason, one of the reasons they may have swarmed anyways was they ran out of space because they were strong. So I got the brood comb, got the center of that. I'm gonna set this inside the box, away from the hole. <coughs> use, utilize frames. Um, you can use new frames. I use older frames. If you don't have older frames, Talk to an older beekeeper, somebody you know, maybe your mentor or whoever, and say, hey, if you're going to be calling frames, you have some old ones, um, to cut the old wax out, can I get the frames or can I do a swap one-to-one, -one, buy a new package of frames or whatever works out there. Um, they're going to cut the frame, cut the wax out anyways. And the only purpose of uh, having these wax here, I mean, you got your one brood comb, he may provide you with your brood comb to start with, and then you can need five other ones or ten, or ten frames. Um, is starter strip. So... On these frames here, I take one full sheet of foundation, or wired, actually, it's a, uh, they don't make, uh, for me, I, I buy more foundation, so this was a sheet of a cut comb foundation. So you figured four to six inches here, I cut one inch strips, adhered them to the frame, so it gives me a starter strip. This gives the bees the, uh, a place to start pulling the, pulling the wax, and they'll draw it out there. A uh, good example of that is with this frame here from last, from the last warm trash from last year. Uh, it was a starter strip and they've already started drawing it out. This might be an act actually attracting to the next hive, next uh, swarm colony. So, hey, put it in there. So basically, 
I have that. Um, so, went one frame here, and two, three. As you can see, I got two frames here. There's a little space right here. That's the electrol for the bees. Space. They come through here. If there's wet, bad weather, they swarm out. They can all huddle inside the space here, and uh, there's plenty of room for them. They won't be hanging outside the box. You don't want to keep this as your main hive. Basically, you're just trying to catch them. You catch the queen. You What's a good way to tell if you got the queen in there? It's not scout bees coming in there. Are the bees bringing in pollen? If they're bringing in pollen, the queen is in the box. So that's a good me uh, a good telltale sign. Um, if you, I have a homeowner friend of mine who uh, down the road he's got a bee tree. He let me set one of these up down there. And say you got bees coming in there. I went down there checked. I had to bring in pollen. I'm thinking okay. So at the end of the day, just like when you do a uh, swarm collection, all the scout bees and all the field bees that are out there, we're still bringing in the pollen and resources for the hive. In the evening, just go out to the colony, and what I do is just move the screen to move the entrance to there, and take it down. Um, this box here, usually, well, they are, will be, is screwed down. So all these high boxes, as they're set up here with the frames, the the draw and comb and the, and the starter strip frames, as they're put in here. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you is uh, like Swarm Commander. Nothing is the scent off of that. The lemongrass oil. I have never used Swarm Commander, uh, so I don't know how well it works there, but what I do know works and what I have available for me is lemongrass oil. Um, bought a bottle for $7. This thing will last a long time. So just like in the bee vlog, he took a Q-tip, one sandwich baggie, put four drops, no more, you do not need excess. He said about four drops, so four drops on the Q-tip, wipe it on top of these some of these frames here, place the Q-tip back in the baggie, Keep it open, doesn't need to be sealed, and set this underneath the frames. So now you got brood, you got the scent in the high box, you got the scent of the brood comb frame, you got drawn for it, you got all these older frames here, and it's got starter strips, uh, you got space. Those things are what I feel in what I, what's been successful to me, I think, are the attractive things for these high here. Now I'll make a secure box or place there. You got a lid that sits, it fits tightly on top of the box here. I screw this thing down as I hang it up in a tree. Keep the entrance. This this box here, depending upon what side of the tree, what structure. This one will hang on one side of the tree. This box here, you see the cleat is on the back side of this here. These are screwed into the box there. Always face the try to face the entrance towards the colony. Scout bees. It's not around it or whatever. Try to work what works best for you. Um, like I says, you see them bringing a pollen. You've got the colony. You can take it down, look, see, well, maybe you don't have it in there. I, I, I think that's the, one of the telltale signs for me that I took I took it down. And you figure when you take this thing down, the actual weight of bees, especially in the evening, when you, you'll you realize, wow, this thing does have a lot of bees. The colony's in there. You figure it's going to add an additional few pounds of bees to it. So from there, i got it screwed down. I've got it uh, to a tree. Um, our location works there. <coughs> Talking with the homeowner for me or whatever works. Uh, drill a three inch, put a, about a three, three and a half inch screw in the tree, just to get this thing started, and I hang the screw from, uh, hang this box from there. It's just a temporary. Uh, in the meantime, the only time you'll remove that screw is when you take this box down and you're done. Then you remove the screw from the tree instead of taking a nail and nailing it in there. The nail may be a little harder to get out. The screw, I just back it out with the drill. Um, but as this hangs from the tree, take a ratchet strap, strap around the box. This whole thing's not going to move around to the back of the tree. Use your strap, strap it tight, secure. You got this flap here, just tie it around the oh, box a few places so it doesn't wave or get in the, uh, in the way of the bees, aggravate the bees themselves there. Don't cut the strap because you can re re reutilize this for what other purpose in the end. And then when you're done, you undo the strap, you take the box down, throw it in the back of your truck. Uh, when you're setting it, <coughs> setting the box in a location in your apiary, when you get in the evening, set your box where you're going to put your, actually set the hive at, and make sure you open the entrance when you get back there. So in the, uh, in the evening, open the entrance. That way, in the morning, the bees will go out and about, and they'll come out, uh, be able to go into their, uh, do their normal field foraging and stuff, the pollen and nectar.
Um, just like installation in a new colony, you're gonna set your box, move, set your box where this was, pull your frames out in the same exact order into the box. If you have drawn, if you have a, a starter strip here, you don't need to leave your starter strip frames actually over here. Starter strip frame, pull these things out, pull full sheets of foundation in the box, uh, just like installation of a package or a, a, a new colony there, and just draw it out there. Make sure you feed one on one stripper water to there. Um, this here is a medium box uh, for medium to hold 10 frames. I do not have the frames in here, and I, I figured to <coughs> be able to check the bees later, especially on the installation package on the final day of installing them into a colony. This box here actually comes off. Um, use these clips there that they'll secure it holding the tree. The same principle you can drill it, hang it, the lid. Uh, it's the same one, but little sit on here, screw your lid down, this secures it all in place. These things here, make sure that if you do this, that you strap your, do your straps, which let's screw down here, and ultimately this box ain't coming off. Ratchet strap to the tree, the same concept and principles. So this is what uh, I use here at Six Acre Farm said. This is where I plan to use when I uh, set my swarm, swarm traps up this year. I've got six of these things. Hopefully later this year I'll have another video that I'm successful six for six. So until next time, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, talk later. Bye.